Hello. I haven't uploaded in a while because I've been busy uh, with work, but I've finally gone back to creating stuff in Unreal Engine, and this is what I've been working on for about a week. Uh, essentially, what I'm working on is a multiplayer first-person shooter with abilities uh, using the gameplay ability system, and I'm not sure whether to make it a team-based shooter or a battle royale, but as of the moment, that disparity isn't a huge concern. I wanted to get into game multiplayer stuff so that I could implement it into my VR games, but those may need a complete overhaul to do that, uh, especially to utilize the gameplay ability system. Uh, my primary goal with this was to understand networking and replication better and to learn the gameplay ability system and network prediction. So, basically, this is what I've got so far. Right now I'm playing as a client. This isn't AI, this is another character. In fact, I could move him around, see. So, what I've got with this system that I've created is this weapon, when you equip it, there's not actually a lot of logic on the weapon itself, but when you obtain the weapon and equip it, it grants the character abilities that the weapon owns. And this weapon right here owns a hit scan ability and a reloading ability. Hit scan ability is the shooting mechanics, and you just saw the reloading ability right there. Um, and th those abilities spawn gameplay cue effects, and which include, you know, the particles and the sound, the basically the cosmetic stuff, and uh, use network prediction to make everything snappy, but also not break the game and allow cheating. Uh, so if I shoot the character, this is another gameplay cue. This damage text that appears, that's a gameplay cue from the hitscan ability, and I've also implemented range and other uh, damage calculations into the weapon. Um, so this, this box also in inherits from the damage interface, so if I'm close, it does more damage, further, you know, that's how rifles usually work. Also, yeah, the abilities hook into the UI as well, so you can see the ammo decrements and everything. And this next shot will kill him, and this is another gameplay cue, this knockback. Well, it wasn't very dramatic there, but you see, it applies knockback. It applies knockback to any physics object, but these are too heavy. It That's a net multicast as well, so everybody else will see that I'm applying knockback as well. Um... So, I've also implemented a interaction system, so this is another ability, it's the interact ability. It has two components, inspecting and interacting. So when I inspect something, it spawns whatever outline and UI it wants, and when I interact with this particular item pickup, it picks it up, and now I can switch to that weapon. This is a, this shotgun inherits from the same weapon class as this rifle and I've and I haven't implemented any blueprint logic all I've done is just tweaked a few variables the range the uh, the number of shots and I tweaked the hit scan ability a bit to give it more spread basically just changing a few variables and it has a slower rate of fire and more spread and bigger fall off, but I didn't actually have to write any logic for that because it's inheriting from the same generic class. This door also interacts with the interactability, and so does this. There's no inspect element on this one. It's just, uh, I didn't implement that logic. It doesn't need it. This is just a health pickup. I kind of just made it look like that. Uh, yeah, and also all these assets will change at some point. I'm just using you know, free ones at the moment. This, these are uh, effect volumes are created. This should heal, this should deal damage. 
and you whatever gameplay effect you put in there is what it will do so as you see it dealt some damage to me and this one should heal me and it, you know it can do whatever a gameplay effect can do it could apply state like tags to you as well so if I deal a little bit of damage to myself and walk up to this when I overlap it should heal me and as you see it healed me a bit it should heal 25 HP and I have a hundred so another thing is to show off is the actual network prediction itself so uh, if basically in a nutshell network prediction is when you commit an action locally on the client side uh, immediately so that everything feels snappy you don't feel any latency and then it commits the action on the server but the problem with that is if you do an action that you uh, that server side doesn't agree with like you are a bit behind because of latency and you got hit with like a stun grenade or something for example and you're stunned and you wanted to shoot the guy and that information got replicated to the server after you were already stunned server side that would be an issue if you didn't have any form of uh correction and no checking because then you would deal damage to him and decrement your ammo but also be stunned and that would kind of make cheating really easy so i'm gonna just add a stunned state to myself a stunned tag so essentially when shooting a gun i just removed it by the way i'm just gonna decrement the ammo a little bit to show something uh so now that i'm stunned i will shoot client side but the server will reject it and send me a correction so as you see i'm not actually dealing any damage to him and my ammo meter is kind of twitching because locally i'm decrementing ammo but then the server sending me a correction this is all utilizing the gameplay ability system correction system and if I remove the tag, now I can deal damage and the ammo actually decrements correctly. Uh, if I stun myself again, as you can see, when I try and reload, it will twitch a little and apply the cosmetic effects, but nothing actually occurs. Like, if you see... One second. Let me just move things around so you can see this. So, on the other screen, I'm trying to reload, and you'll see nothing happens, because I'm not actually reloading. Uh, the server's, server side is rejecting it, and none of that gets sent to the other clients. Oh, what happened to my frame rate? <laughs> So that's essentially what I've got so far. Uh, this isn't it. I'm going to be improving more. I'm probably going to implement a looting system and a leveling system for weapons, like separate rarities, like in Fortnite. Uh, and what else? I'll probably put in some cool stuff like rocket launchers and rocket jumping. And I'm thinking about adding an inventory system and having an actual slot in the inventory multiple slots for abilities so like i could have like an item pickup for an ability that will allow me to dash or scale walls or do something cool like that so yeah i'll uh keep updating this